Hello everyone, welcome back to Thief 2. Uh, usually I don't play fan missions, but I uh, thought this was a good occasion because I haven't posted anything in a while. Uh, and I know I keep saying that uh, I'll post a video weekly and stuff. Um, well, it's not a lie that the last few weeks I've been really, uh, well, I've been really busy. However, in a few weeks time I will have more time again, especially in the weekends. Um, so I'll definitely try to post a video every week. Um, for now I'll just uh, play this mission. I actually pr uh, played a bit of this mission already, uh, but it was... Well, I'm used to a lot. I'm used to SCP Containment Breach, I'm used, used to uh, uh, Slender. But this, this was so creepy, I just... Let me just play it on uh, expert. Well, in a few minutes time you'll you'll see what I mean. Cryptic incidents, unexplained and mysterious events. I've always had a bit of a soft spot for those. It so happens that one of them has captured my curiosity and lured me into a remote village far north. The people here are in a bit of a predicament, and they are starting to turn on each other out of despair. Once every few days, somebody winds up missing without a trace. Always happens at night, nobody ever sees it. The intriguing part about this is how they choose to explain it. On a hill east of the village stands an old wooden house, locked up and abandoned from what the sources say. The locals are convinced it is somehow tied to it. I'll go pay it a visit tonight and see what I can find. Deserted houses rarely make me uncomfortable, but this one might just come close. There is one thing the villagers kept repeating. Nobody lives there, nobody has seen anything there for years. But on the nights the people disappeared, there was a light burning in the top window. So yeah, um, what I was going to say is that um, it was actually so creepy, uh, it was about, I believe, uh, 12 o'clock uh, in the night and I just had to stop <laughs> I was so freaked out and uh, maybe it was the wrong timing I don't know uh, well here I am again it's raining in real life now it's dark and um, but I figured maybe by doing commentary it'll be better and I figured you like to see me being scared so but the mission is really beautiful looking so so only played through the first ten minutes, I believe. And if you know Thief Two, well, th these graphics are just amazing. There, they're so good looking. And there's all there's actually uh, more ways you can go. You can go up here. I'm, I can't remember for sure where it ends. Hard to walk on. Uh, let's just go figure it out. Been a week or two since I played this mission. Oh, is this really so wise to go down here? No, I'm going back because I know you can get a an oil lamp from somewhere nearby. Actually, I'm raising the the brightness a bit for because I know YouTube tends to make videos darker. So it should be better to see now. It's still not too light. So it's still creepy as well. You just feel that in. Go away. Here we are. It's actually hard to see because normally you can pick up items from quite a distance and you actually have to step in and pick it up here. So here's a light. Uh, however, it doesn't do that much. Uh, it only gives light uh, like a meter away from you, but it's something. Actually, have I been this way before? Oh yeah, I was stuck here. I remember now. Whoa! Right, I forgot about that. I believe I can't do anything here yet. I don't have any rope arrows, do I? No, I don't. Yeah, I think I have to go the other way, the way I don't want to go. But you will. See what I mean by that in a few minutes. <coughs> also, I'm a bit sick, so uh, you may hear me coughing a bit and stuff. Being sick is ac actually the reason why. Oh, oh, oh crap. 
uh, is actually the reason why I have time to make this video. <laughs> because I actually work 48 hours a week now. Whoa, was that me? <coughs> oh shit. These are poisonous. Oops. Let me quick save here. But yeah, I work uh, 48 hours a week because I have an internship of 40 hours a week uh, and a part-time job. And in about two weeks time, uh, I won't have that part-time job anymore. Um, but I could use that time to make new videos. Is something making a sound or is it just it's supposed to be ambience? So the farthest I got the last time is uh, I got there, which is the really creepy cave. And in there, but at some point there was a, like a, a, a rock and it was so high that I couldn't reach it. So I'm just going <laughs> this way, but I'm already dreading it. How do I climb this again? Just like this? Yeah, yeah. There's some loot here. Is that like a crystal rock? Oh, I don't like this. I'm not liking this. And I'm not sure if... Well, I'm not saying anything. You'll hear what I mean. Oh, shit. I'm saving you. This actually, you can only see like two meters away from you or something. It's pitch black. Okay, I'm gonna say what happened last time. There were, the, there were those sounds of this monster, which I am not hearing now, which is actually creeping me out even more. Oh god. <laughs> Let's pick up the sword. I wanna get out. I wanna get out, I wanna get out. Oh, I'm going even deeper. Arrows, okay, that's good. Rope arrow, okay. I think I needed those for the other game. I'm saving and I'm running out of here. Um, I think this is the right way. I think there are still more ways out of here. Get out of this place. Why are the sounds not here now? Oh, I'm out. Okay, so I made it. Huh? This ambience wasn't here just now, is it? I'm not hearing any... Okay, I heard something now. Okay, maybe the ambience sound was backed, but... Uh, you would hear all kind of monsters growling at, uh, around you. And at first I thought they were just ambient sounds. Uh, until the point that I got attacked by something and I have no idea what it was. So that was actually 100 times less creepy this time. And I'm not even exaggerating. Well, maybe I'm a bit, but... <coughs> okay, I think I have... To either use a rope arrow or just jump that way. Hey, can I use this? Oh, it's just my light that's on. It highlighted so I thought I could activate it. Oh! Let's just go here this time. Jump. Oh, yep. I can't crouch. Oh well. Walk carefully. No, ooh, 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 ooh. I almost fell there. Climb. Yeah, all right. Saving here. So, I'm really glad I didn't account the monster, but on the other side, I really wanted to show you guys what he, what it was about, because now you just think I'm a pussy. Okay. So, beyond this point, I've never been... There we go. Because I never got it, uh, made it out of that cave alive. And jump. 
All right. <sighs> oh, just a barrack. <laughs> Actually, is it just a barrack? It looks different. Um, I should go that way, shouldn't I? Maybe I can distract it with an arrow. Just shoot it behind him. Oh, I don't have a blackjack. That's right. I know you can blackjack Pyrrhic, so... Turn around. Yeah. Now run, 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 run. Oh! I must have almost got him. Right. All right. One down. <clears throat> I love how I turned up my brightest, like pretty much, and it's still pitched, uh, pitch black in here. I heard another barrack here. Shoot him. Oh, why not? Oh. <laughs> I used to be good at aiming. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> Whoa! I should be careful. I'm almost dead. Get him! Oh, crap. He's gonna hit me. <coughs> almost if you see that animation is almost dead I believe I believe alright this hasn't been too creepy so far Actually glad it is. Oh, f about the uh, old viewers of mine should know that I'm really bad at directions. Like I always walk in circles and stuff, uh, and I don't even know. Can I? I can use this rock for something. Weird. Or is it just me? Oh, it's just a light again, I think. No, it really lights up. <coughs> I think I'll have to use it later. But I'm not sure how or what I'm supposed to do with it. Uh, I believe this is the way back. Because I saw those flies earlier. Those insects. Yeah, okay, this is still over. Uh, maybe I should take it with me. I only have two, so... I think I should go here. I'll just land on this rock here. Oh! N Ooh. I should probably use a rope arrow. So that I can go back up later. If I have to. Alright. What's here? Can I go in here? No. I don't think I should. <coughs> this is some nice looking water. Much better than the old texture. Whoa, I can't go this way. Okay, so the curate is too strong, uh, so I'm supposed to get her from the other side, I believe. Or I can get through here. No, I can't. Okay. So at some point, we're coming back here from the other side. So I just leave that rope arrow there. This one. <coughs> Whoa! What the hell? Almost lost my health there. <laughs> uh, should I? Damn it! 
should be able to turn here. <laughs> Damn it. It's harder than it looks, really. <laughs> Maybe I should just climb on here. Yeah, that works. Okay, good. So, um, then which way have I not been yet? I know there's nothing else back there, so... Hey! Ah, I see. We're going to lift the rock. A stick. Must be a pretty strong stick. Because that boulder was pretty big too. Ah, like... Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty obvious. Okay. Where are we getting at now? This appears to be further. Actually, I wonder what was in that cave at the very beginning where I uh, didn't go down yet because I was getting at light. I actually forgot to check that back. Well. <coughs> Am I almost at the house now? way too silent here I just however the sounds that are are just it really adds to the uh, to the atmosphere hmm is there something I could pick up here ah this should be something I don't think there's anything else. <coughs> Maybe I should raise the brightness just a little bit more. I'm a bit late with that, but I want to be sure. It's still pretty dark for me too, so it's still pretty scary, a pretty creepy uh, experience. <laughs> Jump! All right. Well, this is just amazing looking, really. You've done a great job, Dale. I've been making some missions, but... Well, to make them like this is just so time-consuming. I really don't have the time for that. I'm actually working on another mission now. And it's my biggest project so far for any uh, for any game I've ever designed a level for. And it's not even close as beautiful looking as this is, so yeah. Um, should I use a rope arrow or not? Maybe I should just drop myself in the water. I believe that's safe. Or do this. Ooh, ooh, jump. Yeah, all right. Yeah. That was pretty close. Hey, the house. The house. <laughs> cool. Interactive objects. Oh, this is pretty neat looking. I know I say that all the time, but really, I'm I'm really impressed. I haven't played that many new fan missions. Uh, I've only played, I've played quite a lot, but usually I play old ones, uh, which are made for the older engine. And since a few years ago, the engine was actually updated. Uh, to support uh, more objects and newer direct extra stuff. So, there are much more possibilities now in the engine. Also, creepy stuff are bound to happen, aren't there? Okay, the fact that there's no ambient music at all. Whoa! Why would you have a. S <gasps> okay, I. Okay, I did that, but it sounded new and creepy. So that's locked. Can I uh, smash it open? Really, that is some sometimes it helps. You have to smash it like ten times. Mm, I don't think this is doing anything. No, okay. <coughs> Are those torches going to turn on any time now? Uh, 
A bat? Whoa, that's ugly placed. Well, it's abandoned after all. Just a ladder here, no window. It's awesome though, all of these textures, models, ed everything, it's all custom. It's nothing's from the original game. Not even the health bar, not even the, uh, the light, uh, uh, light gem, is what it's called. Oh, I was almost stuck there. So, so far, so good. But let's not celebrate too early. <gasps> oh. Fruit. Oh, I could use that. Even though it raises only one health point. Crouch, man. Can I go in here? Don't believe so. No, probably not. I'm just saving on a different save game here. Save. Alright. Just in case the other one, one gets corrupted or something. Never happened, but you never know. You can never be too sure. Also, I'm stuck on this ladder. Let's try that again. Here we go. <coughs> uh, so, yeah. Maybe let's see what's on this bed here. If there's anything at all. No, nothing. Just some old wood and stuff. Hmm, this might be breakable. Break. I'm seeing this this sprite as if it can be broken, but nah. Probably not. <laughs> this is such a massive jump scare spot. <laughs> like if you could peek through here and a face uh, appears on the other side or something. I'm actually playing the Evil Within now, and um, I think it's uh, something um, I want to make videos about as well. It's really interesting. It has some, well, definitely interesting creatures, and uh, so you may see that soon as well. Okay, so that's locked. Uh, I haven't found any key yet. Where should I find the keys? Probably in some drawers or something. Or In an abandoned house, where would I find a key? Is there nothing here? Really? Okay. <coughs> where would I find a key in an abandoned house? Hmm. Looks like it can be opened, but it can't. This is all bar. Uh, that's a dead end. believe there's anything here. Maybe under the bed? Nah. Uh, let's see then. This is locked. Maybe I need to use my rope arrow or something. Or I just need to check outside. That's possible. <laughs> I keep expecting jump scares and stuff like that. Have I been in that window? I could try to get on the balcony as well. This way. Okay, before I go there, I just want to have a quick look around the house. See if there's any other windows. That one is closed. Hey, this this looks new. Okay. I heard sounds, but I think I think that was the uh, the thunder. Ah, crowbar. Maybe I could pry those doors open with it, or even this. No. Oh, okay. This would be a a creepy place to be locked up inside. I can go back, right? Uh oh. Please go back. Go. Oh, I can pick this up. Okay. Like that. <laughs> Again, this is harder than it looks. Ah, oh, okay. I'm out. Something in this puddle. Nope. Then I'm just going to walk back to that arrow. I can hardly see it, but it's here. Mm, can I jump in here? Oh, ooh, that was close. All right, I mean, I'm not so black. Oh, that's creepy. Not sure if I'm supposed to go in this way. Uh, 
That is luck. Maybe I can, we can pry it open. No? No. It's locked, locked. Any book I should read? Okay. Different titles. What's in here then? I think it's just all rusted and stuff. Nothing in here. Okay, I think I've got everything in this room. I'm going back outside now. If I may. Do so safely. Um, I'm stuck. Yeah, okay. I need that arrow though. I hope I'm not going to have any damage. Ooh, that was close. Okay. Let's see then. After this, I'm going to try the other balcony and then. If there's nothing there, I'm going back inside the normal way to see if I can open any other doors. Hey, look at this. This should be able to break. Yeah, it's about to break. There we go. What? Crowbar? Alright! Hey, my fuel is slow. Hold on. There we go. Sometimes if you hold this button, like the f uh, movement is a bit slower now. A few times, sometimes it just stays that way until you attack again. Uh, hold on, I'm getting at rope arrow first, of course, so I don't have to walk all the way back. Where did I put it again? Or did I already pick it up? No. Great memory I have. Great. Ah, I got it. Okay. There's actually another window there. There's so many places to go. <coughs> okay, let's see. Then. There's different... Oh. <gasps> what was that sound? Anyway. There's different bugs on each door. Not sure if that means anything. Also, what are these signs? They're probably important. Okay, uh, empty bottle. The history of Tlon, Ukbar, the complete works of Herbert Crane. <laughs> Herbert Crane! <coughs> um, okay. What was that sound just now? Uh oh. Whoa. That was too close for my liking. Can I open this with a crowbar maybe? No, I need a key. I probably need a key for this other door as well. What about this one? Yeah, okay. I don't think it all will work on this. <laughs> <coughs> what if this... Uh, no, that wouldn't make sense, but... What if you need a, like an all for a, a door with an all on it? And we'll see. Hey, can I... Seems to bright up, but that maybe my flashlight again. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's nothing. Okay. So there's nothing here then? In the forums, I, re I read that uh, pretty much players were stuck at some point, and uh, I, I didn't read through it, of course, but it's just something that. Uh, Oh, that caught my attention, so I think I have to search really well for hidden keys and stuff like that. <coughs> yes, I'll try not to use a walkthrough. Uh, still nothing here. Whoa! Okay, I activated that. It's not like that happened out of itself, which you may think it did. Here we go. Every corner I get into, I think something's going to appear. This user, the, this he does a great job at making, at building up the tension. Oh man. Okay. Well, there you have it, guys. You have me scared, and nothing's even happened yet. A key. Nice. What's on the key? Oh, okay. It's the bird. Okay, tell me you heard that as well. Was this already like this? I'm 
Yeah, I can read this out loud, but I'll just have you guys read it. Whoa! Huh. Oh. Whoa! Oh, well, hold on <laughs> a second. That was I did not expect that. Okay. Um. Anyway, I'll pause the video here for a sec to see if everything is still recording, alright? Because in the past I've had quite some uh, technical difficulties. So just saving here. It may seem like the video is passing for a bit. <laughs> 